Welcome to Jamaica News Studio, where we provide news across Jamaica and more. If you're new to my channel, please remember to like and share, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on our latest news updates. Also, smash the subscribe button and feel free to leave a comment below. And now for the details. A group of angry residents staged a protest in Greenwich Town, southwest St. Andrew on Wednesday after one of their own was fatally shot by the police and his body reportedly thrown into the back of a vehicle during a security operation. The deceased man has been identified as 18-year-old O'Neill Chambers. The residents claim that at about 10.30 on Tuesday night, a team of police officers traveling in an unmarked vehicle went to West Avenue in the community and later shot the man in cold blood. The residents also claim that the police planted a gun on the man after he was killed. Police have since refuted the claims. The police came into the area and saw the man and later chased him in a yard, said one resident. The man was on his knees a ball out to them that him knew have anything on him, said another woman who claimed to be an eyewitness. She said while the man was pleading for his life, police stood over him and shot him in the head. The youth was on his knees begging and pleading with the police and they still shot him, said the woman. The police in their report said that at approximately 10.45 p.m., officers were on patrol in the Greenwich Town community when a group of approximately eight persons were seen at a gate of a premises. Upon seeing the police, the group dispersed, and one man remained and pointed a firearm at the officers. An officer discharged his weapon in the direction of the man. The man was taken to the Kingston Public Hospital where he was confirmed dead, the report stated. Police said a Springfield pistol bearing a serial number was reported as retrieved at the scene of the incident. On Wednesday, news of the shooting triggered angry reactions as the residents took to the streets demanding that the incident be investigated. The Independent Commission of Investigations, Indicom, has since responded to and began investigations into the shooting. Indicom officials have also issued a call for persons in the community with information regarding this incident to contact its head office at 876 968 8875, or 876-968-1932 or send information via WhatsApp at 876-553-5555, to assist in the ongoing investigation. Thanks for viewing. Please don't forget to like and share, hit the notification bell so you don't miss our latest news. Also, smash the subscribe button and feel free to leave a comment below. See you in the next news.